My name is Madeline, and I'm a food scientist. I was recently asked to develop a small presentation or demo that would help kids get interested in science. When I started thinking about this, I realized, well, what is it about what I do that people would find really interesting? And realistically, it's the food part of it. I mean, you know, the science is fun and everything like that, but kids especially want to eat stuff. So I developed this little demo just to show what it is I do, what you'll give a small concept of what I do for a living, and also just, just have a little bit of fun. So let's get started. This small beaker contains nothing but water. This large beaker contains a solution of calcium chloride. And this bottle has a 1% solution of sodium alginate, which is an ingredient that's used a lot in baked goods. Um, it's used to create the gel and pie filling, and it's also used to create um, the filling in jelly donuts. And as you can see in this form, it's pretty liquidy. I've also put um, Powerade powder in here just to, just to give it a little bit of flavor for the demo. I recommend using anything that does not have calcium listed on the ingredients. Pow which is why I chose the Powerade powder, because it just didn't happen to have any calcium. So, for this demo, I start out by showing what happens when you put the calcium, the sodium alginate, into just regular, into just regular water. And you put it in, and it pretty much does what you'd expect a liquid to do in another liquid. It just goes in, you know, it's... I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of makes it a pretty blue color at best. That's just because of the blue, the blue coloring that's in this solution. Now let's contrast that to what happens when I put the same, same blue goo into a solution. Of, so of calcium chloride. Now, as you can see, there's actually an instant gelling effect. You can see down at the bottom here. When I drop this in, it instantaneously gels. And it's the same mechanism, basically, that happens when you make jello, except that when you make jello, you have to Dissolve the, dissolve the gelatin in hot water, and then it has to sit for hours and hours and hours and hours. In this case, you're getting a gel, which is granted much softer than a jello gel, but you're getting it instantly. But if you put it under, you can actually get a big blob. Big blob of goo. So, just to give you an idea, in case you can't see in this, lovely little webcam, what this looks like. I am going to quickly strain this out. And what you end up with I did it, you get this stringy, this great stringy, goopy, really kind of gross gelatin solution. I'm sorry, not gelatin, but you get this really stringy, kind of gross gel, which to an adult wouldn't have a great texture, but kids love it. I mean, it's it's got the texture it looks like it has. So you can see that, you know, just a couple droppers full. Gives me this great disgusting blob of goo. And when I've done this demo for kids in the past, their reaction has been, ew, ew, and then they start eating it. So that's why I put a little bit of flavoring in it. This is totally edible. Nothing in here is anything that is gonna hurt anybody. Calcium. Uh, the calcium chloride 
it's just calcium like you'd get in milk. Um, the sodium alginate again is a bakery ingredient. Um, it doesn't dissolve in water very well, so I've actually I actually had to put that in, in a blender beforehand. Um, and again, you can use any flavoring you want as long as it does not have calcium in it, because otherwise you'll really just get a big blob. And, and the other hardware that I would need for this is your container to put the chloride solution in, uh, the calcium chloride solution in, a container to put the sodium alginate solution in, something to take the alginate from the bottle into your sodium chloride or your calcium chloride solution, and then I would also recommend having a strainer so that you can get it out. Um, in the past I've done this with small cups and then I just tell the kids they can scoop it out with their fingers. So that is my demo on how to make instant gummy worms.